Hello, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you are having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Leo. Right now, you need to hold on to what's important to you. Budget. Work on your finances. Keep your business to yourself. Keep all your chips very close to yourself. Keep your energy to yourself right now. For some of you right now, even your sexual energy, this is a great time for you to be creating and manifesting. Be very careful with who you share those things that are the most valuable to you. Your time, your effort, your energy. Those are things that you cannot get back. If you're going to give money to somebody, you make sure that it's money that you're not worried about getting back. This is a time for you to really be prioritizing yourself, putting yourself first. And that doesn't mean that you can't have friends, family, that you can't date, that you can't be in love. No, but this is a time for you to have boundaries because there's too many people who are going to come at you at this time needing different things from you because they're not willing to go get it themselves. It's 10, 10 on the clock. Um, let me say this because I, it just was brought to my attention. Um, I just want to share this and it is personal, but I have a friend who is actually a teacher and what, um, he's in the administration and he told me this morning, it was like nine o'clock this morning. He's like, I'm just, I don't think I can do this job another year. And this is someone who has over 10 years of experience and, it, he wasn't happy about the feedback that he was receiving about giving feedback to new hires. But my friend also is considering, you know, like some entrepreneurship ventures at this time. And this is the text message that I sent him. And I actually sent it to another friend that's kind of going through something similar. But so I'm just going to be your, your spiritual um, friend today. I said to my friend, I said, I don't want to minimize how you feel at all. But I always look at things like this as growing pains. Anything that triggers your emotions a lot is an opportunity to learn something about yourself. Chaos, conflict, and confusion has a way of testing your ability to resolve things. New levels, new devils. You can never be easily shaken by criticism, especially as an entrepreneur. If God is preparing you for greater, then you have to manage what you have well. As you take personal paid clients in the future, they will critique you and leave reviews. And you must stand firm. This is just a test. Ground yourself. I say this to you guys as well. There's going to be things that are going to come in and it's going to really test you because you're emotionally charged and invested in certain people, places, things and situations. So in the workplace, and I always tell you what you're experiencing, everyone around you is experiencing it too. In your workplace, people are going to be upset. Why? Because they're having issues with, um, they're having issues in their home life or whatever the case may be. Okay. Um, so just keep that in mind, but do not give into temptation of going and doing things that are going to have you delayed in your life. The hangman is here, but it's in the reverse. You, you're not delayed. There's been blockages and delays removed from your life. Um, and you're going to have to stay in the clear. Okay. Don't allow yourself to go back because your money, your abundance, the things for your your life, your new beginnings and everything else, it's coming in to you. There's been blockages removed, but if you, as soon as the blockages that have been removed, if you go and you reattach cords to people, places, things, and situations that have been keeping you stuck and bound, you will never get to this 10 of Pentacles. So again, I really want you to be very careful of being very quick to listen to your emotions, being too quick to listen to the advice of other people who don't see or even understand your vision. It's not for them to see it. God gave it to you. But don't get tricked. Don't get tricked out of your new beginning because everyone is watching you. And a lot of people are watching you. They see the hierophant here. They see you being a leader or going into leadership. They want to see you fumble. They want to see you fall. They want to see you fail. Cancer season, crab in the barrel. People want to see you do well, but not better than them. And you have to be mindful of these types of people coming into your life or coming back around you. And it's not just past people. It's new people too. 
11, 11, there will be people that will come to you and they just don't have good intentions. Again, you don't have to be afraid. You know, just, just be safe. You know how hard you had to work to get to where you are. Two of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. There are people who are, for sure, they're going to cause you challenges when it comes to your overall stability and security. Some of you, I don't know what this is, but the same thing came out yesterday. Your money is finally about to take off. Don't go giving your energy and your time to the wrong people. Focus on yourself. This is not the time for you to entertain a situationship or a relationship or something that you know is not in alignment with your goals because if you do you're going to miss out on this ten of pentacles this is not the time for you to prioritize helping other people over yourself someone just texted me and was like oh can can you do this i'm busy right now i, ca I can't stop I, I i have to stay on my own gravy train i can't stop and, and you know it's like and I think I've shared this. It's like every single time, like a track star, you get your, your baton. Some of you, your heart, you want to pass your torch to somebody else before you even get a chance to light your own, your own flame. Keep your torch in your own hand right now. That's your Midas touch. That's your magic. That's, that's your ability to manifest. Keep it to yourself. Heavy, heavy emphasis for sure for somebody out here on sexual energy. If you're spreading yourself thin right now with extending yourself sexually to a lot of people whatever you need to really pull that back in because people are using any type of energy that you give them to manifest abundance for themselves off of your energy some of you you have you finally cut the cords to certain people and situations you're getting your energy back but adjust to your energy adjust to it before you let somebody come in and steal it again some of you, you don't even really know the power of your own energy because you've never fully had access to it. Nine of Pentacles and the Five of Swords here. Here's the Emperor, the Eight of Wands. Wow, Three of Wands, the High Priestess. Yeah, beautiful. You have something real coming in for you, but you do have to take action right now. Call on justice. Let this tower fall. Let the truth be exposed so that you can move forward. You cannot be afraid to walk away. You cannot be afraid to be on your own personal journey right now. I'm telling you, a lot of this stuff out here, you guys, whether it's in the media, it's here on YouTube, on tarot, the, the, the tarot person in your community, whoever, the people at your church, everybody has their own agenda and intentions. You cannot constantly get off of your path because you're so tuned in to what somebody else is doing on their path nine of pentacles falling right underneath the ten of pentacles the page of swords is is here with the five of swords you have somebody around you that's a total coward these are people they won't approach you but they will spy on you they will watch you they will energetically stalk you they won't approach you though. But also the page of swords is here next to the ten of pentacles. Somebody is really looking into your life. They really want to know what's coming. They really want to know where is this money coming from. And then you have a person that's competing with you. Trying to get away with, you know, coming against you in some way. The Hierophant is here. We have the Emperor, the Eight of Wands, the Three of Wands. There's a, a, a beautiful, beautiful business opportunity. Some of you could be spiritual, um spiritualist in some way you could do something with um entrepreneurship or you're considering this and you may be using some type of spiritual gift sacred knowledge this could be herbalism it could be anything okay you could be a medicine woman medicine man you could be a tarot reader a life coach whatever the case may be it doesn't have to even be anything spiritual but whatever you're doing it's important for you to apply your intuition, this level of sacred wisdom, knowledge, and self-awareness that you have because something is coming in and it's going to move at a very rapid pace. And trust me, your enemy knows that. And they're sitting back waiting. That Somebody is waiting and they're hoping, wishing, and praying that you will fail and that you will miss whatever this opportunity is. Because the enemy is like, okay, yeah, I see that you were able to get your energy back. 
but they're, they're planning to come in and trip you up again. Somebody has their eye right on your money, right on all of your pentacles. Someone is watching you, your money, your finances, your relationships, and everything. Page of Wands. Take action and use the epiphanies and the downloads that you're receiving. If you already got a download about somebody, I don't care what I say. Your mom said, it doesn't matter what, you know what you need to do to move forward. And a lot of you are being advised, you need to get away from someone and put your boundaries up because this energy keeps on rushing in with a bunch of secrets. Somebody here is really hiding the fact that in the background, there's all type of issue, issues, obstacles, challenges, heartbreak, interferences, and other things that someone is hiding. They're not being honest with you about this. So you're going to have to take your sword out and honestly say, listen, you need to focus on yourself. Because you are the empress, whether male or female, it's time for you to be fertile and to have this abundance. I'm also seeing for some of you too, some a person here who has in the background, someone has been in the back because I am seeing a relationship here for some of you. Some of you, someone in the background, they kind of they've been in and out with you because they've been hiding the fact that they've been going through some type of heartbreak. Or this could be you. Some of you, either you or someone that you have connected with or that you will connect with is hiding the fact that they are not fully healed from something. And that's OK. But for some of you, a person's going to come in and they are healing from something, but they see you as the divine feminine. This is why things are being um this is where the confusion comes because you have some people who always knew that you were the divine feminine, the divine masculine, and they fumbled you. And now they're going to have a fall from grace. You have some people who are rebuilding. This could be you or someone that comes in. They're rebuilding. They may be a little rough around the edges, but they see your value. They see your worth. They see your divinity. They see your essence. And what they want to do is they want to come in and offer you true love. But you have to know who is who. And a lot of you, the regret, the grief, the disappointment from being hurt in the past, you're having a difficult time with figuring out who's who. And this is what this um, Mercury retrograde and Venus in retrograde is going to do. You're going to see people who have your best interests. But because it doesn't look like what you've been imagining in this Ten of Pentacles right now, you're going to say, oh, yeah, it's OK. I can just go back to the past. The past is going to disappoint you again, most likely. Or you have people who are in relationships and marriages or, or jobs right now. They're unhappy. They're going to look at you and see that you're going towards happiness and you don't think that they won't come right in and attach themselves to you. To get a piece of your good karma because they know that they are about to descend and there's going to be a decline in their finances, their abundance and everything else. They're going to latch themselves onto you. So be careful with letting your heart <laughs> play these tricks with you and your mind. You need to get your heart and your mind in sync and balanced. Because you have a really good person or opportunity here. And you also have something really low vibrational that you need to run away from. And for a lot of you, it's just, it's like, even God is coming and saying, like, are you really done with the past? Because you, you're saying you're done, but I can see that, I don't, yeah, emotionally, energetically, you can still be swayed. The real deal is here or coming very soon, but this is a test that you have to pass. Okay. Because somebody who was disappointed in life, paranoid and upset because they can't get access to you, but, and all they can do is spiritually watch you and monitor you and figure and try to understand what's coming for you. Someone that's very greedy, they're watching you constantly and they know that this is coming. And this person could be a friend, family member, or a lover. King of Swords and the Hierophant. This is a very narcissistic, analytical, strategic person that is monitoring every single move that you make. 
Judgment is here. Queen of Cups, Ace of Cups. Wow, Three of Cups, Six of Wands. Man, it's so much goodness here. And yes, there is a person that's taking a leap of faith. They're coming in. Somebody wants to come in. And like I said, first, wow, look at this. Ten of Wands, Ten of Cups. Somebody could have gotten out of a situation. And they're still carrying a few burdens, but they're doing everything that they can to free themselves. Take a leap of faith to end cycle so that they can come towards you the right way. This does not have to be someone that you know. When I speak of a person getting out of situations coming towards you, I'm not always talking about a person that you know or someone from your past. This is where you guys, you fall into the trap, especially watching tarot. Because you, you still don't know exactly how to read energy. As soon as someone says a person is leaving someone, you think that this narcissistic person that you've given 10 years to waiting on them, they're coming back. No, that person is still with, with their other person, their family, and they're not coming anywhere near you. They're going to keep spiritually stalking you. When you're looking down, you should be looking up, waiting for the person that's saying, you know what, I will leave everything behind to follow follow God and then they'll come and find you. The person that can fully end a cycle. For some of you, if you're going to date a person that's divorced, they should be able to show you divorce papers. If you're going to date a person that has kids, you should know what their schedule is with their kids. You should know what the situation is with whoever, whoever they're co-parents with. These are things you should know. You're an adult. I look at the demographics on my channel. Most of you guys are 35 to 60 watching. You're grown. You're an adult. Stop accepting the bare minimum for people that don't want to give you anything because they haven't gone through any type of awakening, but they sit back and they watch you go through your awakening. And when things aren't going well with them at home, Venus in retrograde, they want to run to you. Mercury retrograde. Some of you, you have the same exes that come to you every single Mercury retrograde and you keep letting those people into your life. And the ones that the, the, the divine feminists and masculines that are closing cycles, working on themselves, working day and night, night and day to better their lives so that they can have victory and success and to bring you an offer. Every time that that portal opens for you to have new love and abundance, you miss it. Why? Because you keep playing around with the devil. And I'm just going to call it like I see it. Because just the other day I did a reading, I said a lot of there's a lot of karmic readers because they've never taken a leap of faith to leave behind these false counterfeit twin flames or whatever. They preach to the masses every single day. Wait on this person. Wait on this person. Why do you think that there are so many divine beings who are not married? Think about it. Who are you getting your advice from? People who are sitting around waiting on a married person or someone in a committed relationship to choose them. I'm just, I'm just going to tell you why people are missing opportunities and always out in a cold, rejected, abandoned with financial issues and constraints instead of having equal give and take. You know why? Because you, you can't listen to these lies because a lot of people like to listen to lies because it makes them feel comfortable. You're familiar with lies being told to you. At some point you have to wake up and a lot of you, you've had the awakening. You have to love yourself because the will is here for this king of cups to come in for this queen of cups. If you get rid of these toxic energies around you and stop waiting on something to change in a situation that's not actually part of your destiny. It's an illusion. I don't know who I'm talking to, but I know somebody needs to. Your mindset of waiting on people whether it's friends family or lovers to change and give you exactly what you want it's an illusion and it's not happening and until you choose to let go of that the people who want to take action who are natural born leaders to come towards you with a secure offer and take you on to peaceful common waters <laughs> actually marry you have a passion who beginning with you the past life connections that are truly meant for you you won't experience it why because you have these karmics in your energy every time they feel something you feel it why because you're not cutting the cords and when you cut the cords they come right back in and they reattach it they come back in and you sleep with these people they come back in because you text them or you call them 
or you let them have access to you. You cannot be anybody's fallback plan, flunky, or plan B. And expect to have a passion who beginning that leads to the four of wands. It's too many divine beings out here who really want to be married and committed and have amazing homes and jobs and opportunities, but you're not getting there because you're not allowing people who are truly divine like yourself to come in and offer you something that's stable and secure. Like I said, even watching readings, when you guys, as soon as you hear, oh, this masculine is like really trying to rebuild their life and leave, you know, I would never go back to the past. I would never, I'm not talking about that person because that's not the frequency that I'm on. But what about the people who have actually gone and divorced the person, left that person behind, they're rebuilding, they're making their money, they're preparing themselves to be an excellent husband or wife to someone or business partner and you're so busy worrying about the person that is honestly not worried about you that you don't even see these people that is what that's the whole trick of the enemy as long as the enemy can keep you closed-minded and in a cycle of of confusion with your self-limiting beliefs even when the greatest opportunities are presented to you even when your good karma comes you will miss the opportunity because you can't see it because of the chaos, the conflict, and the confusion that always has you emotionally charged and you're not grounded enough to actually see that, you know what, I don't need to be here. Every time this person comes around me, I'm, I'm nervous, I'm jittery, I'm paranoid. Every time this person comes to my house, something seems to go, listen, pay attention to the signs. Because I'm telling you guys, and y'all know, you, you can check my readers for the last few. I'm not lying to you. I'm not going to get on here and tell you, yeah, your twin flame is married. You're, if you're, Let me tell you, if a person is your counterpart, if they meet you or reconnect with you and they're married, let me tell you something. They'll work day and night, night and day. To come at you the right way. How many tarot readers have you watched about a person who is carrying the burdens of having a family with somebody else? And you keep telling yourself that one day there's going to be a tower moment with that person and they're going to pursue you. How long have you been waiting on that person to pursue you? I, I, listen, if you're meant to be with them. Be with them when that when they're able to come towards you and treat you with the, the love and the respect that you deserve. In the meantime, in between time, you should go and have yourself a relationship and be happy just like they are. And like I've said it before, and I'll, I'll make mention of it again. Every single reader that you listen to is going to speak to you from a place of their own wisdom and experience. And there's everyone resonates with somebody different. A reader who, look at that, Eight of Pentacles and the Empress. Readers who have been married have a different perspective from readers who have never been married. Readers who have children have a different perspective from readers who don't have children. You know, some people are all for blended families. Some people are not. Some people are willing to to deal with certain things that other people are not you have to find your own soul tribe but i feel like everyone everyone should be able to get exactly what they deserve and what they desire and you shouldn't have to keep settling king of pentacles and the empress you deserve something someone that yeah wants to come in look at this i told you i know is a message here about love seven of pentacles the Empress, and here's the Two of Cups. And here is the Hangman. And in this deck, funny enough, this Hangman is in the reverse. There's a divine masculine energy out here who is for sure becoming awakened. And this person is going out looking for their counterpart. If you are stuck on your past, this person's gonna walk you right past you. You have to be a vibrational match. Somebody, there's a divine masculine out here that's saying, when I find the one, that's it. 
You could be the one, but if you're still stuck in your feelings worrying about your ex and the karmic relationship and the drama that they're in, because this is what's behind you, this, this karmic masculine fighting, fussing, and arguing with their witch wife or girlfriend, as long as you're worried about this, you're going to miss out on this. You're going to miss out on the sun. You can't be obsessed with when or, or, or how will these karmic people in your life, will they get justice for what they've done to you? Just let it go. Just let it go. The quicker you let it go, the quicker you get towards the lovers. I'm telling you, some of you, your your the business partnership, the marriage or commitment that you have been hoping, wishing is right around the corner. But you have to be willing to sacrifice this situation from your past. You don't have to worry too much about all these people going to receive karma or anything else. I told you in the reading yesterday, you're going to receive blessings tenfold as these people experience a lot of hardship. But you don't need to be focused on that. Don't focus on it. Page of Cups. There's a, a divine masculine out here who literally, this person is thinking about offering. And this is a small offer. It's something new. Page of Cups. But it's going to lead to the Ten of Cups, Two of Cups. But again, some of you, when this person comes towards you, you won't recognize it. Why? Because in your mind, you're still hoping that somebody from your past is going to come and beg for you to come back. Let that person go, please. Holding on to them emotionally, spiritually, energetically, or anything else is blocking you from having someone that you can really build and collaborate with. Teamwork. Someone that can come in and give you options. Some of you, there's a king of pentacles. An earth sign person, they don't have to be, but a king, somebody very much stuck in their ways. You want this person to come in and make you some kind of offer. I don't see it happening for some of you. I don't really see it happening, but this is a burden. Look, here it is. It's a burden that you carry being in your head about is this king of pentacles going to leave or divorce or separate from someone else and then come and make you an offer. Will they choose you for some of you? Maybe so. But if you don't see that actually happening, look. I don't think so because here's the Knight of Wands and the Death card. As quickly as they come in, they're going to leave right back out. It's the same thing. This happens over and over and over again. And so when you have the strength to put an end to this situation, that's when new love can come in. Have the strength to just love yourself. Then new love can come in. You have the strength here. Four of Cups. Don't allow... You being bored, discontent, unhappy, lonely, or whatever to cause you to go back to a situation that's not actually going to take you to peaceful, calmer waters. You deserve something where you're going to have justice and you can have emotional balance. Justice. And that means having boundaries, not letting people play with you. They have disappointed you over and over. People want to see you page of swords. They're watching you, waiting on you to be disappointed. Eight of Cups. Walk away from these situations. Leave it all behind. Cleanse and clear your house, your energy, your phone, email, what? Get rid of it so that the real deal can come in. Because here's the world and the Ace of Swords. You need mental clarity. You keep going back reading the same text messages or you're watching these readings and you think that Something is going to manifest. There is, some, there is something manifesting, but it's not in your past for a lot of you. It's something brand new. Ace of Wands is brand new. Passionate. Energy. You have the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords out here. Stop applying everything that you hear to the past. You've given too much power to the past. That's the problem in the entire collective. But it's so much here. This It's so beautiful. The star. Wish fulfillment. Hope. Having faith again, but maybe you need to take time out with the hermit to go within and self-reflect. This new moon is still here. So allowing yourself to really reflect on what you want, what really bring. Yeah, look at that, the moon. 
What brings you victory and success? This person is in a wheelchair playing ball. So this is even after the five of ones, which is drama, conflict, chaos. Even after some type of hardship, even after hitting a few hard knocks, you can still have the victory. You can still take your shot. You can still win. But there is shadow work needed. And for some of you, again, what's hiding behind you just releasing something, it is indeed your divine masculine. The person is going to bring you so much happiness. For some of you, a partner and a child, children, new beginnings, is behind you cleansing out the things that's in your subconscious mind about a situation that just does not serve you. You guys are still afraid for some of you that history is going to repeat itself and spirit is saying, no, what's coming in for you is somebody that's really going to love you. The King of Cups. King of Cups is someone who is mature, devoted. Six of Cups, three of Cups. I feel for a lot of you, this is a past life connection. Somebody has, all, they, they, they know you. Not the past, but a past life connection. Nine of Wands, High Priestess. Trust your own intuition. And some of you, you have karmic energies. They're very much threatened by the fact that you are a high priestess. There are some, some people who are perhaps coming towards you. Yeah, king of wands, the fool. Some people are choosing you. And even in the future, whenever other people find out that you're the one that has been chosen by whoever you're going to end up with, yeah, they're gonna, there's going to be jealousy and envy. But that doesn't really have to be of your concern right now. Right now, just focus on getting the offer. And I'm not here to bash every person from the past because if you have a person that can come to you and present themselves showing that, yeah, they've changed and they're ready like I said, to, to show you some paperwork and put in the work, by all means, go for it. But if you see that a situation is no different than it was six months ago, six years ago, why put yourself through that? Like I said, we're, we're adults. If a person can't show you a divorce decree, tell you what the situation is with the co-parenting, be honest about their finances, their sexual health or whatever, then why? Are you saying that you're a divine feminine and masculine, but you're you're allowing these things? You, you know, don't shoot the messenger, but if you're going to be divine, then really be divine. And divine beings, everyone should have access to you. I know messages. Nine of Cups, Three of Pentacles. Yeah, you need to be working on what brings you wish fulfillment. Wow, look at this. Three of Pentacles and the Star. Three of Pentacles and the Star. Ten of Wands, the Emperor. Three of Swords, Five of Pentacles, the Devil. I'm telling you, for some of you too, if you have issues even with a father figure, you need to lay that to rest. Because the Three of Pentacles is here with the Star. Okay? The Star is about healing. It's hope. Wish fulfillment confidence okay some of you you want to be around people that you can grow and expand with because they see your potential but what we also have here is a ten of wands and the emperor there's been a lot of burdens placed on you and the emperor for, for me sometimes is not always just about a masculine energy you could be it could be a female in masculine energy but also business your structure your authority you're overworked you're there's too many burdens here there are situations that have caused you stress and it's it's forcing you into a place of not being able to make practical decisions some of you are in a good space right now but what the enemy is going to do is come in and try to have you to obsess over some kind of heartbreak or situation from the past where you've been juggled. And like I said, when somebody comes in determined to show you that you are indeed their wish fulfillment, or when you get very passionate about going after the things that bring you wish fulfillment, what's going to be playing in the back of your mind constantly is how someone has hurt you, how someone has juggled you, how someone has heart, left you heartbroken. 
you got to move out of that. So that you can move on a peaceful, calm of waters, a six of swords. Wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at this. Six of swords. King of wands. Queen of wands. Four of wands. This is a very, very passionate knight of cups. When you let go of, for some, daddy issues, issues with the father of your children, or whoever this toxic masculine is for a lot of you, and you stop holding on, it's right here. It's right here. What comes in is, this card even says, releasing baggage. King and queen of wands and the four wands, your marriage. Your ideal partner and commitment that brings you the nine of cups, the kind of commitment that makes you just wake up every day and you're so passionate about being the star that you are. It comes in. Somebody that can show and prove, yes, that you are exactly what they want. Why are you waiting? Because your, your favorite tarot reader told you, you need to wait on your twin flame. Really? First of all, how do they know that you're a twin flame? And if they're talking to you about a twin flame, how do they even know that they're with a twin flame? They're you have readers telling you that they're with their twin flame. Can you can you confirm that? Can you confirm that? Probably not if you're listening to them for confirmation about your life. So how do you know that they're a twin or that they're with a twin flame? So how do you know that the information that they're telling you is is to be even be trusted really? And I, I'm not I'm not telling you again that, that you should even you don't have to listen to me or trust me. I'm just the, the cards, regardless of what I say, the cards aren't going to lie to you. Because I make it very I'm not here to tell you who you're supposed to be with or not be with or anything. I'm just here to show you patterns of behavior that you can recognize for the sake of, of, of you being able to grow and expand in your in your life. I'm not, I don't want anybody to think that I'm bashing twin flame soulmates or, or that I have anything against people going back to their past. I'm saying you go towards anything that you know is a true vibrational match for you. The love of your life could absolutely be someone from your past. But if, this, if they are the love of your life, soulmate, twin flame, whatever label, they are going to show and prove that to you consistently. They're not going to come in doing Mercury retrograde or Venus retrograde when they're arguing with somebody else because they just want um, a dose of your energy. No. You won't have people who are, like I said, married, living with people and in commitments and trying to sneak around with you. Who is going to be a divine feminine or masculine and you're sneaking? You have to sneak around with somebody. And, and you know, we all know. That those situations, they happen. I just feel like, though, if somebody is, is, is true about being with you, standing firmly in protecting you, mentally, physically, emotionally, they're just going to move differently. And accepting this advice that we're all fed to believe that you should wait and accept the bare minimum. I just, mm -mm. it's too much of a burden. It causes, when, when a high priestess, a true divine feminine is stressed out and burdened, it's almost impossible for you to manifest. And I know God doesn't want divine feminists out here unable to manifest, unable to, to create, unable to co-create. So things that bring you chaos, conflict, and confusion, burdens, obstacles, issues, challenges. Yeah, some of it is meant to teach you lessons, but some of it is meant to teach you for sure a lesson and you need to move away from it. How long are you going to keep battling for somebody knowing that they're in a relationship with someone that's doing black magic on you? You do realize that one, even if you get the person, whoever's doing the black, they're not going to stop doing the black magic. You, you do know that, right? I'm just. 
walk away from being in the two of swords and stalemate energy waiting on some kind of new beginning or offer opportunity when your intuition has already told you that you need to end this cycle of allowing someone to be possessive over your energy who's not actually offering you anything. When you let go of the idea that it's okay for someone to hold on to you, that's when your good luck and good karma come. That's when the turning point in your life happens. I feel like some people, they understand, well, I let this go. Yeah, but you still allow them to hold on to you. You still give people access to you. Knowing that they're jealous, they're envious, they're possessive, they're stingy. They only want to deal with you because of money. Whatever the case may be. Seven of Cups. Don't be delusional. Seven of Cups also represents opportunities. There's an opportunity. Y'all, this there is somebody here that it, that's gonna come into your life if they aren't already they really love you. Six of Pentacles, the Temperance, the King of Cups, the Hangman, the Tower, and there's a King of Swords. Four of Cups, Five of Cups. It's two masculines out here. The person that is cold hearted, stern. Maybe narcissistic, wants power, always makes head over heart decisions, chooses logic and money over actually loving a divine feminine. That person is going to experience a tower, but they won't experience a tower as long as you're holding on to the idea of being with them and protecting them from their own karma. Meanwhile, this divine masculine over here, that's an actual earth angel that's going through an awakening. Who wants to give you equal give and take? You can't see this person clearly. Ace of Swords. You're being defensive with the person that's being sent in to love you. That's the whole, that's what the devil wants you to do. Make you so afraid of love that every time you have an opportunity, two of wands to move forward, you kill an opportunity with self-sabotage before you can even make it. And boom, there you have your passion, new beginning. And because of your illusions and the deception of your enemies, your good thing is ruined before it even gets started. Please don't let these people trick you at your spot again. Please, please, please. I'm going to post readings, but I already, I was like, oh, I will not be watching tarot for myself. I, mm -mm. Nope, not doing it. People that are still talking about the past. I'm like, yeah, that, that's, that's, that's not the, the frequency or timeline that I'm on. And like, again, no shade to anybody. It's just when you, when you know better, you do better. <laughs> I know better. You have to know that you're good enough. For a new romantic cycle to begin. Libra, Virgo season. That's right around the corner. Know that you are good enough. Stop letting people who have not yet learned their own self-worth try to dictate and control and tell you that you should wait and you should accept things that are not what you want. And this is not just about love, you guys. This is even in careers. You will have people that will tell you, no, you, you shouldn't get that new, you shouldn't apply for that new job. Don't try to get that job, that certification. Don't go back to school. Why do you want to try to do that? People who have not been where you've been and don't see where you're, you're going because God hasn't given them the dream or the vision, they cannot help you. They can't. This is about you learning your own personal power. Look, hold your vision. Your commitment is being tested right now. And oftentimes when people feel tested, like I said, you go to what feels comfortable, familiar, and you go back to the past. And you're more open and willing to listen to stuff that just doesn't serve you. That's the trick of the enemy. Don't get caught up 
This is nothing but a bunch of self-sabotage coming from a lot of illusions. Be bold and make the first move. You don't have to wait for a person to tell you what to do. You don't have to wait for somebody to tell you that it's okay for you to stop dealing with them. Choose yourself. Here's the sun finally coming after you've been deceived, betrayed, and, and hit rock bottom dealing with the devil. You better go get your justice. Please. I'm begging you. You may not like me or my delivery, but I, I, I know that this message is for somebody. <laughs> and I know it's going to trigger a lot of people. I know a lot of readers who watch me who will say, oh my gosh, I can't believe Tori said that. Yeah, I said it. Look at the bigger picture. Earth angels, look at the bigger picture. Nobody can go out here and start a successful business and have these gifted children and spirit babies and have these amazing lives as long as they're looking at the past and you're waiting on a demonic person to come into your life because you 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 have named them as, as a twin flame or whatever because the truth is, is that underneath it all, you're still codependent and tied to something toxic that you don't want to let go of. Yeah, I said it. Balance spirituality and practicality. You can understand spiritual journeys, uh, divine counterparts, but be practical. You're a spiritual being here living a human experience. If you want to have victory and success, if you want to be married, if you want to have kids, how long are you going to wait on things? That, and, and then when it doesn't work out, you say that it's something spiritual. No, it's yeah, it's something spiritual that you need to leave alone. Part of the journey sometimes is learning. It's not about you finding out how much hell can you can you take. It's do you know how to walk away from it? Healing. Do you know how to let go? Have you like understood yet that in order for you to heal, you have to let go? <laughs> healing, letting go. 21st, 26, pay attention to the sign. Something is, a com is completing here. Here's the world card. Something is over. And there's something new that's coming in. Ace of Wands, divine intervention with the tower. The universe is speaking to you in a lot of different ways. This is about your own personal healing. Moving into Leo season. Healing, vitality, sunshine. Who are you? You being your own star. You go into Virgo season. <laughs> Dot all your I's, cross all your T's. You go into Libra season. Justice. Patience. What did I just say? Self-sabotage. Patience. Do not self-sabotage yourself because of a lack of patience. Because real love is here or is coming in. Very soon, there is a masculine out here who wants to love, love a divine feminine. This person will say what they mean. They will mean everything that they say. They will go dumb, stupid, crazy, wild about you. And most likely they know you have a hole in the soul. And they may have one too, but together you guys are home to one another. But I'm telling you, <laughs> boy, it's the counterfeit around you or that you still long for. You're going to miss the real deal every time. And that's what this person's job is in your life is to make you miss opportunities. You should see it. After you've been in a karmic cycle for so, a lot of people for years, you should be able to definitely pinpoint Who's causing you to have holes in your soul? Friends, family, and lovers, all of them. You can see when certain people are in your life, there's always trouble. As soon as those people aren't in your life and you're not in contact with them, things just flow. That's all you need to know. <laughs> that rhymed. <laughs> when things just flow, that's all you need to know. God doesn't send you things full of Turbulence and confusion. It's a love here that's it is so beautiful. 
and it can it can actually mend the holes in your soul if you allow it. Contemplation, heavy thinking, big decisions have to be made about your fresh start. Yeah, because you have a karmic partner still in your energy. These are past life lessons. You need to let go of this karmic energy so that you can embrace a new beginning. That is going to require you to take a leap of faith and start over. Wow. Divine connection, soulmate. And this controlling toxic ex in the past or in the background or someone, I'm, I'm not going to say in the past. There's just an energy here because this person could be in your life right now. Okay. The love of your life could be the person from your past. I don't know. Whoever the karmic energy is that you know is controlling and toxic. You need to get that person out of your energy. But it says here reconciliation and it came out with manipulation. Somebody who's very controlling and toxic, most likely narcissistic. They want to come back from the past. They, they, they're saying now that they have a lot to say, that they're missing you, that they're looking at things from a different perspective. This says here release. Why? Because you have a sole purpose. Redemption, oh my goodness, and twin flame. Release this karmic person. They sacrifice you. Sacrifice this connection so that you can go into your soul purpose. Forgive yourself. Allow God to redeem you, vindicate you. Why? Because your true twin flame is coming in or has presented themselves. But again, the obsession, obsessed, deception, fire. Somebody could have heavy fire in their chart. This person is extremely deceptive and they're always watching and stalking you. And this person hates the idea of you being able to celebrate. Some of you, the person that you have connected with or that you're about to connect with, Either they're coming out of a dark night of the soul or when you and this person meet, they're going to go through a dark night of the soul because they too have let go of a karmic partner. People who are truly twin flames, they mirror one another. I'm not talking about people who just, like I always say, traumatize you and trigger you. You and another person can mirror one another and you can see, oh, they learned the same lesson I learned. Not just they taught you a lesson because they were tormenting you and manipulating you. But no, you see, they went through something very similar to what you went through. They learned the lesson and now you guys are a vibrational match. It's a difference, y'all. It's, it's, it's a difference. And it's really sad that the karmic energies, they're so similar to divine connections because that's what the devil does. The devil studies you night and day, day and night. So that... The enemy is always able to try and one up you to, to block you. Works very hard to do this so that you will always be trapped outside of your own blessings and abundance. And you will find yourself crippled, needing help, and you will go back to the devil.